it, is it good times? Is it intellectual, um, <laughs> stimulating <laughs> rigorously? Masturbation is not allowed by God, so we need to find different ways. To it's do it clearly that. allowed by God. <laughs> he may need no, to count no. upon it and punish punish you for it, but it's definitely allowed. Yeah, this, it's, this, it's physically possible. There's nothing stopping you unless you've got no allowed. arms or something, and then you've got to do all the final the means. Yeah, this is this is one thing where uh, present Jacob very much disagrees with past Jacob. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, God, God doesn't like masturbation, and I thought he did. <laughs> no, that was you. <laughs> go, go forth and multiply. I was a teenager. Fill your seed into <laughs> fallow ground. Some... We're all going like, ew, ew, right? But for Antisthenes, the actual confrontation with Socrates was more important. Both Plato and Antisthenes are interested in the transformation that Socrates is affording. Plato sees this happening through argumentation. Antisthenes sees it as happening through confrontation. Because, and you, you can see how they're both right. Because in Socratic and Lenkus, Socrates comes up and he argues with you. But of course, he's also confronting you. We talked about how he's sort of slamming the actual revolution into your face. A follower... Diogenes, and Diogenes epitomizes this. Diogenes basically does something analogous to provocative performance art. He, t he gets in your face in a way that tries to provoke you to realizations. That shocked experience that you had when confronting Socrates that challenges you to radically transform your life. You have the man, right, with the, with the lamp walking, wandering about. The hermit with the lamp. Well, this is Diogenes. He walked into the marketplace carrying around a lamp and looking and looking and looking and looking. And then he said, I'm looking for one honest man. Because they're in the marketplace and everybody's lying and cheating and stealing, right? But they don't want to know that. Diogenes also famously came into the center of the marketplace and masturbated in public. And most of, and we're, all, we're all going like, ew, ew, right? So you want to, as much as you can, live according to the patterns of nature, because those are not man-made, and those will not disappear with the change in history or culture. Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Westheimer. I get a lot of questions about masturbation, loud and clear. There is nothing wrong with masturbation from time to time, not instead of a sexual relationship, but if one or the other partner is not available or doesn't feel like it or has a cold, nothing wrong with bringing each other to sexual satisfaction or masturbating by yourself. This is definitely better than to walk around with a long face and being frustrated. So loud and clear, nothing wrong, except if you masturbate a whole day long instead of going to work, then I would worry.